Let's go. So, how have you been lately? Pretty fucked up. And this hurts so bad, Shonda. It hurts like hell. I know, bro. I know. I mean, I, I've been sitting here all day long trying to figure out what the hell went wrong. Like, what did I do? What did I do to deserve this? Did I do something wrong, Shonda? Hey, no. Look at me. This is not your fault. She said that on you. You did nothing wrong. You've been an amazing husband. She's only hurting herself and Jacob. Where do I go from here? Like, what's left out there for me? Things are not going to be the same. Nothing lasts forever. That includes some relationships. through but I never thought in a million years she was gonna go and do this. It's always people close to you that hurt you the worst. Where is she now? I don't know. I kicked her out a couple days ago. Good. I mean I'm sorry bro, I'm sorry. God, I mean I can't eat, I can't sleep. My mind's all messed up and then I gotta take these damn pills. No, you don't. You do not hate her. You hate what she's done, but you don't hate her. You still love her. Because if you hated her, you would be talking more about your health and less about the affair. She makes things ten times worse. Christian, kick you out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Staying in the hotel for now. Yeah. So I can find an apartment. Everything is so messed up. My life is so fucked up right now. I feel like a monster. Mm -hmm. Like, what kind of a fool? the person that they love. I messed up Christian's life. I ruined Jacob's life. I ruined my family. All for that one night. What you did was terrible. It was. Being honest, but well, we are human, Sophia. We all make mistakes. We are all capable of hurting those that we love. That's just life. But what's done is done. You can't take it back. I mean, all you can do now is just just worry about your health and your son. I mean, that's all you can do right in the situation. I'm still in love with that man. I know. You brought down to yourself. I mean, whatever happened between you two, you have to face it and move on. But if you really love him, then talk to him. Christian don't want to talk to me. He fucking hates my gut. He doesn't hate you, Sophia. I mean, he's livid. Trust me, he's living. But 
I've been knowing that man for a long time, and the way he looks at you, I just know deep down inside he'll hear you out. But if you really want somebody to a point where you can't live without them, you'll go the extra mile for them. You just gotta try. You smart. You know what to do at the end of the day. You're my cousin, Sophia. And I love you. And I'm always gonna be here for you, no matter what. Always. Alright? I haven't talked to you in a while. And I want to see Jacob. Drop him off at his friend's house. Okay. Sophia, what do you want? I want you. I want Jacob. I want us. Sophia, I'm not doing this with you. Leave my house. Well, just hear me out. Just wait. Just hear me out. These past couple of days have been the worst days of my life. I miss you. I miss Jacob. I miss all of this. What I did was inexcusable. And I take full responsibility for what I did. But what's killing me the most is the fact that I hurt you. We were going through our rough patches. I just, I got caught up. This is the biggest mistake of my life. Before you found out the guilt was killing me. The reason that I'm here is to tell you that I love you. I love you so much that I cannot live without you. Whatever I have to do, whatever I have to do, I will. I can't take back what I did, Christian. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I think we should go.